Hey everyone, uh, you might be wondering what happened to the two jars of rice and water that I used for my first sage experiment. And the answer is I still have them. Uh, I haven't been using them, they were just uh, shelved for several months. And so I haven't been sending my intentions to them. And this is what they look like today. Um, uh, the positive intention one, it's an interesting color. Uh, there's definitely some activity going on in there. Uh, I'm not sure what this is, but definitely some uh, life uh, going on. Uh, bacterial or fungal, I'm not sure, probably both. Uh, this one, the uh, negative intentions one, uh, one could argue it's better preserved, but uh, there's also no activity happening in it. Uh, so this is kind of an interesting contrast and uh, I don't know which one is better, frankly. I don't know if either is better, it's just different results. And uh, from the perspective of how active it is, this one is definitely more active. I wouldn't recommend drinking either one, especially after multiple months. Uh, but I don't want to just pour them out, so what I'm actually going to do is... I've got a few items here. Uh, a couple of onions that have been sprouting and then weather it away. I have been practicing intention on the onions and then I, I, uh, I had to leave them for a few days and when I came back this is what happened. Uh, I don't know if they're beyond saving. Uh, they might be. I'm not really a gardener. I do like growing plants but I, I know nothing about it. And so, please don't make fun of me, or if you do, do it in a constructive way and maybe tell me what I'm doing wrong in terms of gardening in general. But what I'm planning to do and what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to uh, give them some soil uh, so hopefully the nutrients will help them recover. We'll see about that. And then, of course, each one of them will receive either one of the uh, rice and water from either of the bottles and then we will see if it has any effect on their growth. So for the right one I'm going to add the positive water. Uh, let's smell it first. Oh, oh, that does not. Huh? Huh. Yeah, uh, a peculiar smell. I wouldn't call it good or bad. Uh, but anyways, let me pour it into the soil here with the rice and everything. See what happens. I'm going to uh, recycle the bottle. And then this one, let's see what happens. I'm going to smell that too. Oh, that one smells kind of like rice vinegar. Very vinegary smell and actually pretty pleasant. Uh, but I doubt it's good for growing anything. Uh, so let's see what happens anyways. Not all the rice came out, but uh, let me add some uh, water. I was going to add more water anyway, so let's do that. Still not all the rice came out, but I think it was a sufficient amount. A little bit more water from the positive jar. Curiously, they both have some blackness around the rim. Well, this one, uh, the negative one, has some blackness uh, right on the rim. Uh, the positive one is more like a greenish brownness. And uh, some of the water from the positive one actually disappeared, so it had less water in it. Uh, I think it got fizzy at some point and it just kind of uh, evaporated through the cracks between 
the lid and the bottle because it wasn't completely sealed. Anyways, now I'm going to insert the onions. It's probably too much water, but it is going to evaporate over time. And I'm going to add some more soil around them. Uh, something like that should be fine. Even if they uh, recover and start growing again, I'm definitely not going to eat them because of uh, the source of nutrients they're not going to get. Um, especially the positive one because it, it, it's clear there's a, either bacteria or fungi in there and I don't know what kind they are. If I were more idealistic, I would say that uh, since it came from good intentions, it's probably a good type of bacteria or a good type of uh, fungi, but I, uh, I think you got to be careful. And um, I guess what really happens is with the positive intention, a bottle, you get more, more life, more activity of living organisms. But I don't know if it differentiates between uh, ones that are good for human physiology and, and ones that are harmful or neutral. It's just life, so I'm going to let it grow if it does. Uh, I'm not going to eat the onions, uh, definitely not drink the water. And if you conduct a similar experiment, I also recommend you to do the same and not, uh, not consume um, the derivatives of the experiment. But you could... Uh, yeah, you could put them in the ground, maybe with some plants, and see if it helps the growth, but uh, yeah, don't eat those either. So we've got the uh, two onions here. I'm going to put them on the windowsill, and I might give you updates either daily or whenever I do notice something, if anything at all, and maybe in a week or two, I'll let you know if anything interesting happened or, or not. So that's that. I guess that's uh, the true final stage of the uh, water experiment. I might do another uh, water experiment with better control of the variables, uh, like three bottles of water uh, for each type of intention, and maybe also three bottles of uh, control with with no uh, no intentions, just that they're, they're just gonna sit there. So that would probably be a much more definitive way to conduct this experiment uh, and uh, see better results. I might do that in the future. I'm currently uh, working on uploading the fire gazing final report video, uh, hopefully more than halfway through making it. Uh, so that's going to go up. And then after that, I'm going to start the next experiment, which is going to do with uh, uh, clairvoyance. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, thank you for watching and good luck.